Hi, Miles Agnew here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the Pretty Link uh, plugin for WordPress. Now, the Pretty Link plugin it allows you to cloak affiliate links and then cloak other links. It also allows split testing and stats. So, uh, I'm going to first show you the pro version. Uh, we're logged into my WP admin on my blog, and you simply go down to Pretty Link. Um, it's very easy to install. You would just go into plugins and I'll show you later on how to install it. So you can see that I've created a few little links here and I'm going to quickly show you how to add a link in Pretty Link. So you can give it whatever name you want providing it doesn't already exist. So if you had a page called say about me you couldn't create a Pretty Link called about me. If you have a look at the link options you can uh, set up groups so you could set up groups for say affiliate links, partners, recommend uh, that sort of stuff. You can also SEO options of no follow or follow it's entirely up to you. Now the pro options uh, allow keyword and also multiple uh, URLs so you can split say if you wanted to go 50-50 if you're using two links. If you were going to use more, obviously you'd break it down to like 25-25 to allow for. Click on split testing and click create. So that's the basic side of the professional version. There's a few other things you can do. Uh, you can also uh, cloak the link. So you can um, cloak it. You can also use what they call a pretty bar. Now a pretty bar allows you to have um, links back to your own page so at the top of the page there'll be a little uh, link section where you'll be able to link back and scroll like back to your own page so that's entirely up to you uh, pixel redirect uh, it's just like pixel tracking a lot of affiliate systems use pixel tracking so you could easily do that as well uh, 301 if this is just uh, for example a static redirection so for example if you were going to link to one of your product pages and you, you were going to offer a discount all the time if they uh, visited your website you'd use that. Um, also 307 you can change and, and you can also change the 301. Uh, what it does is the, the beauty of this is you can change the target URL so for example I might go Google and I go the target URL is Google. Uh, I'm going to do pretty bar just to show you what it looks like. Don't worry about keywords, no follow, and I'm not going to do anything fancy. So let's have a quick look at the way this works. So there's the link. So I can also um, copy. I can also uh, tweet it, email it and view the hits and you can also re reset the hits so like if you do a campaign say you're using AdWords you stop your AdWords campaign you can clear it and then you can do your advertising in Facebook or what have you so I'm going to just open up another tab here and quickly have a look go Miles Agnew Google and you can see that it's flicked to Google and there it is a link back to my website viewing Google and you can also share on Twitter and you can see that it's powered by Pretty Link and this is only available in the professional version. Now I'm going to have a quick look at the uh, light version. Now this is another domain and this is how you install it. I'll quickly show you. Just go to plugins and this is the quickest way. Uh, some web hosts don't support this method but majority do. You simply go add new in your plugins, type in pretty link, if I can spell it right, pretty link, search the plugins, won't take too long, go through the database, click install, see where this particular one has installed, install now and you've got the basic version of pretty link installed. Now let's have a look at the base version, uh, it comes with a video. So we'll go in to add a pretty link in the basic version. You'll notice there's not as many options. There's definitely no split testing. There's only 
temporary and permanent redirects still grouping you can still do tracking it'll just track hits uh, and you can still do uh, no follow which is really great um, you can still rename it to whatever you want um, it doesn't automatically pull the data if you have a look this one just pulled some of the data and you'll notice some of my other ones have pulled data from the header the pro version here you'll notice that it says Miles Agnew and this is the uh, light version on one of my blogs so overall pretty link is a valuable tool uh, for cloaking your affiliate links it's also great for tracking and um, I hope you learned something from this video please leave a comment below any questions uh, and stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching